High above the Urubamba Valley, in the foggy mountain ranges of Peru, the lost city of the Incas sits, perched on the mountainside, uninhabited for hundreds of years. Machu Picchu is the most familiar symbol in the Inca Empire. The structure was built around 1450, at the height of the Inca Empire, but was abandoned less than 100 years later when the empire collapsed under Spanish conquerors. The site is located about 50 miles from Cusco, the Inca capital. Its elevation is 1.4 miles above sea level. Llamas roam freely over the entire site, keeping the grass tidy where lawnmowers and sheep can't reach. The structure was originally thought to have been a fortress of sorts, built to protect the most select of the Incan aristocracy. Archaeologists now believe that Machu Picchu was an estate of the Inca emperor, Pachacuti. Evidence shows that the site was selected based on its relative position to sacred landscapes, specifically mountains that are in alignment with certain astronomical events. Recent evidence of the temples and ritual structures point to the site being a place of spiritual significance. After the conquering of the Incas, the jungles around the site became so dense that it was virtually forgotten until 1911, when historian and explorer Hiram Bingham rediscovered the lost city, bringing Machu Picchu back to the world's attention. Bingham retrieved thousands of artifacts from the site, which the country of Peru is now trying to get back from Yale University. The construction of Machu Picchu uses classic Incan architecture, called ashlar in which blocks of stone are cut to fit together tightly without mortar. Many of the junctions are so perfect that not even a knife fits between the stones. How they moved and placed the enormous stone has always been a mystery, but the general theory is that hundreds of men pushed the stones up the mountains. Each year, thousands of tourists visit Machu Picchu, which has caused some disapproval from the scientific community. Archaeologists believe that the site is being ruined by tourism, and a plan to create a luxury resort with boutiques and restaurants has been met with great objection. But many rules and laws have been put into place to protect the ruins. In 1981, the land was declared a historical sanctuary of the country of Peru. And in 1983, the site was designated a United Nations Educational World Heritage Site, assuring the world that the ruins will be around for a very long time.